Feral wild rabbits have been appearing in significant concerning numbers across the Adelaide Hills and surrounding areas. To tackle this problem, the Hills and Fleurio Landscape Board is coordinating the release of the Khaleesi virus. Thank you for registering to be part of the Hills and Fleurio Landscape Board coordinated K5 release program. This video will show you how to prepare for and release the K5 Khaleesi virus on your property. Start the process five to seven days before actually releasing the virus. During this time, you will be free feeding on three separate evenings. This involves leaving untreated carrots out for feral rabbits to get them used to eating this food. It's important to note that after you've finished your K5 program, you must follow up in summer with a pindome baiting program. This will help control any remaining rabbits which are resistant to the virus. If your neighbours have pet rabbits, it's essential that you tell them what you're doing. The Khaleesi virus can be lethal to domestic rabbits, so owners must get pet rabbits vaccinated. Next, ensure livestock and pets do not have access to the areas that you intend to bait. Also, do not bait inside veggie gardens or in cropping paddocks which may be harvested. When deciding where to release the K5 virus, choose locations where rabbits are normally seen feeding. Choose sites where you can see rabbit scratchings in the dirt and buck heaps. Buck heaps are small piles of rabbit poo. If you have more than one rabbit infestation or colony on your property separated by more than 150 metres, each colony will need to be treated separately with a full dose of K5. What you will need for your baiting program are overalls or a long sleeve shirt and trousers, waterproof gloves, bucket, garden hoe, covered footwear, six kilograms of carrots, and the pre-bagged diced carrots that have been treated with Khaleesi virus that you will pick up at the distribution day. Five days before the date, when you pick up your K5 treated carrots, start doing your free feeds. On the first day, chop up two kilograms of carrots and put them in a bucket. Using a hoe, scratch a trail or a number of trails at least 10 metres long and two centimetres deep. Scatter pieces of chopped carrot along this trail with pieces approximately five centimetres apart. Within the next two days, repeat this procedure. And if necessary, reshape your trail to where rabbit feeding activity is the most prevalent. Repeat again within a two day period for the third and final free feed. The next morning, pick up all uneaten carrots. Within one or two days of the third free feed, you need to pick up your K5 Khaleesi virus treated carrots from the distribution day depot. The K5 treated carrots must be laid on the same day that you pick them up. When handling the treated carrots, use the recommended PPE. In the later afternoon, with a hoe, re-scratch the original and existing trail or trails as before, and then distribute the K5 treated carrots evenly along the trails. After laying the trail, contain all PPE and wash your hands thoroughly. On the following morning, Again wearing your PPE, pick up all unconsumed K5 treated carrots. It is critical to dispose of them by deep burial in an appropriate location. Wash your hands thoroughly and clean all of your PPE. Although not compulsory, it will be valuable to record any observed rabbit carcasses in a program called Rabbit Scan. It is critical to follow up with a pindome baiting program four to eight weeks following the K5 treatment. If you follow the K5 and pindone baiting program correctly, you should expect results.